We begin tonight with terrifying moments at a Detroit concert. The floor appearing to buckle beneath this massive crowd. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Thankfully, everyone is safe tonight, but one concert goer tells us it certainly could have gone a different way. St. Andrews Hall immediately ended the concert Tuesday night and got everyone outside safely. Now the city tells 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham events aren't allowed at the venue until the problem is resolved. The city's chief enforcement officer says commercial buildings in Detroit are inspected every two years. The last time St. Andrews was inspected a year ago. I'm told everything checked out, but Tuesday's concert is raising concerns. It could have gotten way worse. I'm glad we got out of there when we could. Niles Booth says he attended the Baby Keem concert Tuesday at St. Andrews with some friends. Before the headliner took the stage, Booth says he noticed something was off. The floor was bouncing. By the time Kim came on and started to perform his songs, you could feel the floor starting to bounce a lot more. Um, a lot more people like kind of moshing in the middle. It wasn't until like the fourth or fifth song, um, we started to see security guards walking through like the crowds and kind of separating people. According to Live Nation, which operates St. Andrews, a joint in the floor became loose as the crowd became excited. But the company says the floor did not buckle. As a safety precaution, the venue ended the performance 20 minutes early. Live Nation says Baby Keem performed most of his scheduled time, and only a few songs were not sung. Jessica Parker, the city of Detroit's chief enforcement officer, says building inspectors met with the property owner this morning. So the property owner has the structural engineer coming out. Once he goes out, assess the property, he's going to submit a report to us. Once we receive that report and any necessary repairs that need to be made, that will happen. Until those repairs are made, the city will not allow any scheduled events to occur at that property. We need to make sure that the public safety is taken serious by the property owner. Tomorrow night, the artist Yola is scheduled to perform. We've already talked to the property owner. He is in the process of relocating that concert. Seven Action News received this statement from Live Nation. Quote, the safety of our guests is always our top priority, and the show was paused promptly. Everyone exited the venue safely, and the artist was able to perform the majority of their show. End quote. If you have an event that you are planning to attend here, be sure to check in with Live Nation for any updates. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.